So I have this Unity project window that you get when you first run Unity. Here you can specify the name of your project. Down here you can select the location for your project to be saved and finally the type of your game you want to create. For this series we will be working on 2D. So select 2D and let's rename our project to something like practice. You can name it whatever you want but I'll just go with practice. Down here you can also add asset packages to your project if you have any. But we are not gonna do that so let's go ahead and hit create project here. Then you will get this unity interface here with this scene window and where you can see all the game objects. We just have this camera in the scene view for now and here you can see the game view to see what your games looks like. You can also change the size here. We will just change it to 16 by 9 aspect ratio for now. You can also drag these windows around and place them anywhere in the scene you want. But I like to keep my scene and game view like this. And here in the inspector panel you can change the color of your camera view. I will change it to grayish color something like this and down in the project windows you can create many things we will just create a folder here and rename it to say sprites you can also duplicate the folder by pressing ctrl d and rename this to let's say scripts and we will store all of our scripts here so here is the list of things that we will cover in this series so we have done setting up unity. Next thing we will do is to set up our player character. So let's head back into unity, open up sprites folder and right click here, go to create and here we will find the sprites and select the square one. So we have our first sprite here. We can just drag and drop this inside the hierarchy and it will appear in the scene view. Let's rename this to player. This player game object has two components, transform and sprite renderer. By default every sprite has these two components. Also we can add more components here if we want. For now I'll just make our player look better. For that I'll just drag and drop another square inside of our player. Press F to focus on our player and let's resize this square here and change the color to let's say red. Ok this will do. Now let's select our player game object and add another component here. And the component that we want to add is the box collider 2D. Hit enter and it will create this green outline around our player. This is the collider of our player. We can adjust it to whatever size we want. But the default one will do for this. Click here and stop editing our collider. And now we need another component and the component that we need is the rigid body 2D. You can also type it in here to find it. Let's hit enter and it will add this rigid body 2D component to our player. And it will take care of all the physics calculation of forces and whatnot. And we don't need to change anything here. Let's try it and play here to see what happens. So as soon as the game starts our player quickly falls down. And also we need to select our square here and let's change this order in layer to say 1. And it has to be greater than the order in layer of our player which is 0. So it will always be on top of our player. Also we need to add ground to our game. So let's grab this square and drag and drop this into the hierarchy. Let's change its position and also increase the x scale of our square here. Cool, so this kind of looks good. Also let's add box collider 2D to our ground now. So if we go ahead and hit play. You can see the player just falls down to the ground. If we just grab the player and drop it again, everything works perfectly. Now we need to make our very first script. Select the player here. Let's go to the add component and just type in the name of the script. I'll name it to something like player moment. Hit enter and let's just select this create an add button and it will automatically create and assign this script to our player. 
If we go to the assets, we can see this script here. Let's just drag and drop this script inside of our scripts folder to keep things clean. So let's open this script folder and double click on the script to open it up inside of Visual Studio. So in here, we will first create a public float for the speed. Well, there are tons of ways to go about this movement script, but let's see what we can do. So firstly, we will create a public float for the speed of our player. Secondly, we will need a reference to the rigid body of our player here. So rigid body 2D, let's name it RB. And let's scroll down to our start method here. And inside of the start method, we will type in RB is equal to get component rigid body 2D. And it will get the comp rigid body 2D component from our player here. If we click player, here we can see the rigid body 2D attached to our player. So it will get this here. And after that, inside of our update method, we will make our player move using the rigid body 2D. Let's first make a float that will store the input from our keyboard. So input dot get axis and the axis that I want to get here is the horizontal axis. So let's type it horizontal. We will use this input to move our player from left to right. If we press left it will be minus 1 and if we press right it will be plus 1. Otherwise it will be equal to 0. Now let's type in rb.velocity and let's make it equal to a new vector here, new vector 2 and here you can see it takes in two floats. So for x here I will type move x and let's just multiply it with the speed. Comma for the y here I will just make it equal to whatever the velocity it has in the y direction. So rb.velocity.y Let's just close it off with a semicolon. And yeah, congratulations, we have made our very first movement script here. So let's go back inside of Unity and wait for it to load. Let's change the speed to say something like 5. Yeah, I think 5 will be good. Let's just try it out. Yeah, it kind of looks good. So we can now move our player around the scene. So yeah, that's, I think that's it for this video. And in the next one, we will look into the jumping. Here you can select this maximize on play and it will run the game in full screen mode. So for next video, we will look into jumping and other stuff. So let's just close this and let's see what we have to do so we have done setting up our player except for the jumping so in the next video we will look into jumping and yeah thanks everybody for watching this video stay tuned for the next one